Hi friends, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. We are doing a first on my channel. We're gonna try on a wig. I don't know why I haven't done this before. I looked through all my videos. I couldn't find it. We are going to be trying, I actually have two wigs here. Let's just start with one. If you guys like these wig videos, I'll review the other one. I'll link this down below. This is the Free Tress Equal Drawstring Full Cap Natural Me Texturized Hair That Blends Effortlessly. Why are these names so long? Um, it's a full cap half wig natural roller set. I'll link it down below. Um, a little bit about me and my hair. I am not a hair guru. Um, I, my hair under this wig cap is natural. I just had a baby five months ago and I have lost a massive amount of hair. Um, I'll leave a link to the day in the life video and I'll show you my bald spots, how my hair was falling out. I finally found an awesome hairstylist and she's really helping my hair to regrow. Like everything she's telling me to do is working. I could do a whole video on everything I'm doing to regrow my hair quickly, but my hair is natural. It's about, well, I could show you really quickly. It's shoulder length. Um, and I've been wearing wigs for years. I've been wearing wigs, you guys, since before wigs were cool and everybody was wearing them. Like, it's just easy for me. I don't like dealing with my natural hair very often. I work out a lot. Uh, I just don't have time to be styling it and I can't stand going to the salon every week. I go every month. She does a great job at helping me grow my hair back, but this is my natural hair. So I love wigs, I love weaves, but she did tell me when she started helping me regrow my hair that I needed to lay off the sew-ins um, because I just need to give my scalp a breather, I need to do some treatment. So I've been taking care of my natural hair and it's growing back, back like a weed. If you want a video on that, I'm more than happy to do that for you. Um, but, I've been loving wigs because I can just switch up my hairstyle, friends, at the drop of a dime and look like a completely different woman. My boyfriend loves it too, so <laughs> they're just easy. So let's just jump in. I just thought this would be fun if I like this wig. I have been wearing the same wig. It's on the floor because I'm throwing this one out for years. I love this curly wig. I call it my Diana Ross wig. I'll put a picture of me wearing it. Um, this is super affordable. I'll link it down below. It's easy to put on. I love this thing, but I just want to try something new. So let's jump into it. I actually want to get a custom wig made and there are lots of salons and stylists that will do that in LA, but you guys, it is very expensive, especially if you want good quality hair. Like the most affordable, affordable I've been able to find is $1,000. I had one girl make a wig for me. She charged me $350 and the wig didn't even fit on my head. And she measured my head like two weeks before she made the wig. That was a disaster. So I'm like, you know what? I want a good quality wig. I want someone who's, I didn't even like check that that girl had like made wigs before. She just told me she did. She was really nice. So I've been looking at people that like, that's what they do is wig making and stuff. It's just very expensive, but it's worth it because I'm not making my own wig. I don't, I don't have the patience. So here's what it looks like. It's kind of giving me mom vibes. I love it though. This is what my natural hair looks like when it's styled. So this could look really natural. Let's see. I want to get one of those things that you can clip the combs into, because if you don't know, if you're new to wigs, these combs, will give you bald spots. It has happened to me in the past, but there are these little like band things. If any of you know what I'm talking about, can you tell me what they're called? I'll find them on Amazon and link them down below that you can stick these combs into so they're not in your hair and they don't cause you to get bald spots. I need to order that stat, so. I don't usually like hair this short, but this could be good because summertime's coming up. Oh Lord, will this fit on my big head? I have an extremely large head, friends. Oh, wow. I very much look like a suburban housewife with it. Just <laughs> Okay. There's nothing wrong with looking like a suburban housewife, I'm just saying. I just, I kind of like the extra wigs, you know, the ones that go like past your breasts, like Diana Ross. They're huge, you know, this is a very practical, normal looking wig and this is sometimes you gotta look normal you know you can't be looking like you're beyonce when you're going to costco although i do it not that i 
fancy myself as a Beyonce lookalike. I'm just saying. My wigs and weaves are usually just ridiculous. All right, I'll probably put some music. I'm gonna try to style this a little bit better. This is good though. Once I fix the hairline, I think this actually could like pass for my real hair. Honestly, I think it's actually shorter than my real hair. That's interesting, but I love the volume. All right, let me style it and I'll give you some thoughts. Ryan Little. <laughs> Yoga! Okay, you guys, I don't know. I, I, just, I like it. Okay, first of all, let's start with the pros. It feels very, very soft. It feels how my natural hair feels when I get it blow dried and styled. It looks like my natural hair when I get it blow dried and styled. Like this is a wig that you could wear out and people would just think it's your real hair. I, like I said, I actually think this is a little bit shorter than my actual real hair. Um. Cons, this might just be personally for me. This is the kind of wig I usually like. Like I said, I like them long, I like them thick, and I like them usually really long. So I feel like I would love, it doesn't have to always be curly. I'm just saying I like voluminous, the kind of wigs that black women will look at you and be like, girl, that is not your hair. But we don't care. You know what I'm saying? We like, I don't really care, but like, I just feel like black women always know. Like black women could look at me in that wig and they have, and they'll be like, although when I wear that wig, a couple black women at the post office were like, I love your hair. I just tell them, I'm like, it's a wig girl. Do you want the link? Use my affiliate link. <laughs> they always start laughing, but I feel like this could even like trip out black women. Like they might just think this is your real hair. Like if I saw someone with this, I would just be like, you know how we are. I can say this because I'm a black woman. Well, you know how we are. would be like, oh my gosh, I love your hair. Like this could pass for my real hair. So those are all the pros, tangent. Hopefully I didn't offend anyone. I feel like I could say that stuff because I'm a black woman. Maybe I shouldn't, but you guys know I keep it real here. Um, cons for me, it's too short for me. I just, I like longer. I don't know. Am I just too extra? I just, I'm going to look online and see if I can find it a little bit longer, but I think that's what this wig is. It's just supposed to look like your natural hair and it is nice. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get used to it. This is perfect. You guys for work, for everyday wear, for the gym. Yes. I have worn a wig to the gym. Not often. I ran a marathon in that curly wig. Yes, I did. I will link that video down below. I did film it, my second marathon. Like this is a, an everyday wig. It's nice. I just personally, for me, I just wish it was a little bit longer, but I love the volume. It's really pretty. Let me know what you think. And it's affordable. I want to say this wig was under $40. I think it may have even been under 30 bucks. I'll link it down below if you want to check it out. Yeah. You'll probably see this in a couple of videos. I don't know. I am going to be wigging it up until my real hair grows back. Who am I kidding, you guys? I'll probably be wearing wigs for the rest of my life. Like I said, I want to take care of my natural hair and I find that wigs make that easy because I can just take it off. I take my wigs off every night. I can deep condition my hair. I don't do it, I'm not gonna lie to you. I get my hairstylist to do it. Um, I can do my scalp treatments and keep my natural hair growing. And who knows, maybe if I get my natural hair as long as my, my wigs, I'll finally wear my natural hair. My mom always says, she's like, you're going to regret as you get older not wearing your natural hair because you have such nice, thick, long natural hair. But I just, I don't know, can anybody relate? I don't wanna deal with it right now. Especially as a new mom, I just like the versatility of this. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, okay, let's talk about some products. Clearance. Now, you guys know, I finally got my Clarins review video up. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it down below. I literally review like 30 Clarins products in that video. I have been use, using Clarins products for about three years. This is not sponsored. They did send this stuff to me in PR, but not sponsored. 
I can tell you whether I like it or I don't. This first product, thank you Clarence for refilling me. I actually talked about this in detail on that Clarence review video. So if you wanna check it out, I'll link it down below. This is their treatment, tonic treatment oil. I'm telling you, I swear this is the reason, one of the products, the reasons why I did not get stretch marks on my stomach when I was pregnant. I tell you guys this all the time. I am very prone to stretch marks. I have them on my thighs, my pretty sure my butt and my breast for sure. So I was like 100% sure I was going to get stretch marks on my stomach. And I have a whole routine on what I did to prevent that. But I put this on my stomach and my legs every day and I did not get a single stretch mark on my stomach. I still am in disbelief on that. Videos coming on that soon. I have a lot of like lifestyle fun video ideas that I'm gonna be trying here on this channel. Hopefully you guys are down for it. I recently did a murder mystery video. I don't know, a true crime video. It's not a mystery, it was a solved case. I'll link it down below. I'm addicted to watching those videos. So you'll expect, expect those like at least once a week. Um, I'm doing a video where <laughs> I'm doing five push-ups every day for 30 days just to see how that affects my body. I'm currently on day four. I started May 1st, today's May 4th. What else? I'm doing all types of fun videos. So subscribe if you're just, I'm just gonna be doing what I love and we'll see what sticks. So I love this stuff. Thank you to Clarence for sending it to me. This is my second bottle. This one hasn't even been opened yet because I just finished the first one like right when I gave birth and I ran out and I was gonna buy this, but they sent it to me. So thank you, Clarence. Now these two products, I'll show you close-ups, are new to me. This is the refreshing hydrating cream and then the roll-on eye depuffer. So I've been using the eye depuffer. It has plant caffeine and chestnut essence. I've been using this for the last month and I really like it. You guys know I'm a big fan of Clarins skincare. I always tell you, I feel like they're a bit underrated in social media and YouTube just because they're a more mature brand. They've been around for a while. Again, I'll link the Clarins review video down below. I give you history on them. I don't get much sleep. Baby boy is five and a half months. He's doing a little bit better. He'll sleep now from eight to around midnight. I get him back to sleep. He'll wake up again at two, we do a feeding, and then he wakes up between four and five. I don't sleep straight through the night. I haven't since I was like six months pregnant. So this has been great. And then the refreshing hydrating cream, I've only used a couple times. I always tell you guys with skincare, I feel like I need to use it for at least a month to give you like a detailed review. I don't know, unless something is just so egregious that it just makes my skin fall off after the first use. I try not to say, oh, I hate this skincare product or I try not to say it's revolutionary unless I have like skin as smooth as a baby's bottom after one use. I feel like skincare takes some time, especially because I review so many products with skincare. It just takes time. So long story short, I will update you on that. Um, yeah, so let me know if you enjoy these wig review videos. Cause like I said, I have this other wig. This one is the wet and wavy style. I'll link it down below, the Ultra Quick Weave loose curl 18 inches so this one should be a little bit longer so that'll be nice i like this wig i just wish it was like down to my breast <laughs> but like i said this could be good for everyday use i feel like it ages me a little is that me let me know in the comments down below do you think this wig makes me look a little bit older i feel like it does I don't know. I could be overthinking it. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know if you want more wig videos down below and you can check out my other videos right here.